Welcome, my name is Colleen Tauke and I'm a sewing specialist here at Fonz and Porter. In this Quilting Quickly tutorial, I'm going to show you how to put together the blocks for the quilt called Pretzel Twist. If you'd like to pr purchase our pattern, please visit our website. Okay, we're going to be working with a great variety of colors, the two and a half inch pre-cut strips. Uh, and we're going to be putting a cream color background kind of to calm down all that color so your eye has some place to rest. As you can see, the, the colors interlock throughout the quilt. So this is going to be a quilt where you're going to want to use a design wall, um, have some place to lay out your blocks as you're putting them together, because you do have to do a bit of planning as you proceed through the strips. Because if you're going to convert this to another set of strips, um, another colorway, you're going to want those to interlock also. So you're going to need to plan ahead. So from the brights, you'll go through your pattern and cut the um, number of rectangles and squares that it requires and do the same thing um, for your background fabric. So you'll have all kinds of squares and rectangles. And as you do that, you want to keep light fabrics together so that as you use them, you can quickly identify them and pick out the one that you need. And then you're going to be creating what I've labeled here as unit one and unit two. Unit one, it consists of a rectangle, two squares. Unit two consists of a square and a larger rectangle. Those are gonna be joined then as half of the pretzel twist in this block. And you can see that I have then joined this together right here. And then you're going to use the fabrics, same fabric combination of the two fabrics, but in different placements. You can see that then what was a small square here becomes the large rectangle. The rectangle here becomes a small square. And you can see kind of that twist that we're calling the pretzel twist in this block. So join these together then to make a block. Now, as you are working through, I said you might want to use a design wall for this. Once you created your first block, I'll make sure I place this the same as the one behind me so it makes sense as if you're looking from here to there, um, you'll notice, okay, you want to have interlocking pieces. So that means that you'll need to come in and create the next block, which gets turned. You see the seams going here, the seams going up and down and see how the, the color then interlocks. Again, this, the, that bright pink, I use that so it's easy for you to follow your eye through the block. Whoops, wrong direction. Here we go. It makes like a large interwoven square. So you're putting four of these together to make that design. But as you progress, say in, in row one, here, for the third block, you're going to want to use this green, choose another fabric, and you're going to want to make that, continue that design on. So a design wall is an appropriate place for you to be using these, posting each of your blocks as you go, picking up the corresponding colors for the next interlock. That's how you make pretzel twist. If you'd like to see more of our quilting tutorials and see tips, please visit our website. Thanks for joining me today.